Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid on the Sony PlayStation. Let's continue the game. Okay, load game. Read mission log. Yeah, go on then, but it'll be glitched again. Yep. There we go. Okay, where has it placed me? Oh, there. Um, do I still have the mine detector? No, I'll have to get it again. That's convenient because it's just over there on the right. First of all, let's just remove that annoying guard that's there on the bottom right there. And then we'll go for the mine detector. Okay, do you drop something? Yep, ration. Good, that'd be nice. Okay, let's get the mine detector again. There it is. Um, you can actually hide underneath the tables, um, but like with the tank, if the enemies know you're there, they will throw grenades in there or something, but if they don't know you're there, then they won't bother to look. Um, as I was saying before, if you didn't get the thermal goggles um, when that door was open, then you can't uh, you can't get in there until you get a level four card, which is much later. Um, although I'm pretty sure if you don't get the SOCOM pistol near the helipad in the truck, that the SOCOM pistol will be in there. Um, although don't quote me on that, but if the SOCOM pistol is in there, I don't know where the thermal goggles are. So, um, yeah, I don't know that. Um, I used to play around with this game a lot. And by play around, I mean, obviously play it, but I used to sort of experiment a lot with the game and sort of try different combinations um, when I was younger. So I've played this game loads, but I am very rusty, as, as has been shown in the previous video. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No, he's actually going over there. Look, can you believe that? Here he comes. I need another. Uh, I need a ration now. Yeah, I am very rusty at this game. Cannot be bothered to deal with you, I just can't. Just go away. Anyway, that's that. Anyway, in here. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Again, if they're infrared, how can they be seen with cigarette smoke? Anyway, just put the thermal goggles on um, and, then, and then just watch the beams. Make sure you only concentrate on the beam that's in front of you. So that's that one. So move forward. Right now I'm looking at that one. That's it. It's best to be careful here unless you're really good because if you do get uh, spotted here the doors will close and then the gas will come out and the doors will never open again until you're dead even if you even if you have a gas mask so um it's best to be careful there it's pretty much instant death if you get spotted in there 
Okay, off we go. Okay, uh, move forward a bit, and this happens. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. Yeah, after that, um, he puts the number in his memory, but um, it, in the memory, sorry, but even if you call it, you can never get through to him, so it's, I always thought it's pointless having it on the list. Anyway, let's have a look at, uh, let's speak to Campbell quickly. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know, we were monitoring the call. Mei-Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source. But I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. Snake, you'll have to go through the minefield to advance. Okay, so put the mine detector on, and then this happens. So you can either avoid the mines, or if you crawl over them, um, he'll actually pick them up. Um, at the moment, we can hold a maximum of six of them. So if you if you have more than six, or if you have six, and you can't have more than six at the moment, but if you if you have six and you try to crawl over more, then you won't take them, but you still won't be hurt. So it's always a good idea to crawl over them if you're not in a hurry. Otherwise, they uh, they do loads of damage. So it's best uh, not to get hurt by them. Uh, you can also use them on the on the tank battle coming up. They will slow the tank down, but it's difficult to make the tank go over them. I find sometimes he doesn't play ball, um, and also you can run over them yourself. So I don't like to use them too much. Um, anyway, let's use the rations now and get some chaff grenades out. I like to use chaff grenades on, on the tank. If you look forward there's no sign of the tank and then it just appears. Anyway, here we go. Okay, many things. Uh, one, he isn't a real snake, that's his code name. And second, if he has such disdain for snakes, how come he follows another man who's called Snake? Um, Liquid Snake. So, two things that don't really add up there. Anyway, let's talk to Campbell. Snake, look out for that tank's main gun. It'll pulverize you. There should be some way. Ask Nastasha. She knows everything there is to know about weapon systems. <coughs> that M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse the tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems.
Oh, there's nothing for Master. What about Merle? No matter how good you are, there's no way you can match up against an M1 tank. All you can do is try to take out the person in the driver's seat. With grenades, you should be able to attack the soldier on top of the tank, too. Why does she have to take her balaclava off when she speaks? Also, how is there a camera um, there? Because I thought the codec thing was just inside their, inside their ear. So how is there a camera looking at them? So even if she were taking her, her balaclava off, we wouldn't be able to see her do it because the thing is just in her ear and there isn't a camera. So the whole thing makes no sense. Anyway. Anyway, let's chuck a chaff grenade. And then let's get the normal grenades out. Need another chaff grenade. Okay, that should work. Quite good. What the more of the uh, more of what you've just been doing? That should work. There we go. Well, that was easier than last time. If you get a direct hit, um, it does more damage. So I got I got pretty lucky there because uh, I got a direct hit right on the soldier. as you said in battle he is as if possessed by a demon much like you i would expect no less see i told you so but i will kill him so general ivan i hear he took your hand as well as your dignity watch your tongue shaman in the language of the sioux people sioux means snake it is known as an animal to be feared Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, I was quite lucky there. I got two direct hits. If you land the grenade right where the soldier is, it takes off half the half the tank gunner's health. But if you sort of get near him and not a direct hit, it won't take as much health off. So um, again, I got pretty lucky there with the uh, with the direct hits. So I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway, let's go out there again because there's some things to get. Okay, equip the mine detector again just in case. There's some more grenades. Now the tank is still there. Um, yeah, you can slow the tank down by putting some landmines down, some claymores down, but they're sort of awkward to uh, to use because sometimes the tank won't drive over them and you have to keep the the mine detector equipped, just in or rather remember where the mine was, otherwise you'll run over it, which is a bit annoying. Now the claim was haven't returned there. And there's also another place, I think. I seem to remember there's another place we can go. A place down here? Yeah, here we are, something like this, yeah. 
Yeah, that's it, yeah. Some more chaff grenades there. That's right. I knew there was something else. I, I, I thought I was getting confused with Medal of Honor on the, um, the, the, the Siegfried Forest level on, on Medal of Honor, where there's, some, where there's a place like that. But there is a place like that on here, too. Anyway, um, when we go back through here, there'll be guns and more mines and everything. Yeah, there's, there's another truck in there that we can use as a shortcut if we have the the right cardboard box. I suppose we could use cardboard box A and go back to the helipad, but then we don't have a box to get back here, so not really that handy. Now, um, we're not allowed to shoot in here. Uh, the guns are disabled, but you can, when we get the sniper rifle, shoot in there um, from this place. This place is very dangerous. If you get spotted, the gas will come out. And I think like the thermal goggle situation, even if we hide, uh, the gas doesn't go away or something. Or maybe it does, I can't remember. I'm a bit rusty. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. How's that what? work? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Even if you do, um, with the sniper rifle, nothing happens. Snake, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes, but their detonation mechanisms have been removed. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if the casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear materials. Please, make sure you do not use your gun around there. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. I trust my instincts as a gamer. I'm, I'm a proud gamer and I trust those instincts. I'm a professional at this. Oh dear. Right. Anyway, so there are many ways to go. Um, there are a couple of cameras. Um, first of all, let's go inside the truck. There's nothing in there, but we can hide there. Some more chaff grenades. I think there's something down here. Yeah, more grenades. Okay, the goal of this place is to go to the lift. So let's go to the lift. Fortunately, there's an annoyance over there, whom we can't kill with guns because the nanobots won't let us. I don't see how that works. Do the nanobots control our arm movements? It's just, you know, it's, it's like nanobots are just like a, um, a plot device just to, oh dear, just to make, uh, just to make it make sense. I'll see if the gas goes away, actually. No, there's someone over here.
All oh, right, we're running out of air. No, we're dead. And we're out of rations. Okay, let's try that again. Please don't tell me I have to go out there again and get that stuff I missed. No, I don't think I do. At least I'm not going to bother. Oh, I don't have to uh, deal with that annoying phone call again. How did he not see me? All right. Let's see if I can use the box, why not? Let's see if this works. Uh-oh. There we go, brilliant. This isn't working, is it? What I don't understand is, is when we get a gas mask, the, the gas mask doesn't last very long, yet with the soldiers, the gas mask lasts forever. So, is it a different gas mask they're using? And if it is, um, well, logically it must be, because why does my gas mask not last forever and their one does or their ones do so it must be a different gas mask and why can't I get one like that yeah sometimes the the cardboard box works and sometimes it doesn't I don't know if it's if there's a reason for that maybe it's because the box were actually in his way um, but yeah I've, ne I've never understood why sometimes the box works and sometimes it doesn't it's best not to rely on it. Just do this quickly. I really can't be bothered to do this again. All right. Yeah, there's a toilet there, but we don't need it uh, at the moment. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go to the other floor first, wasn't I? Need to go to this, the basement second floor. See on the Game Boy Color version, there are a lot more puzzles with the with the Nikita missile. It was sort of disappointing that this is the only time that you do a Nikita missile puzzle. And it's relatively simple. The ones on the Game Boy Color are much more involved, I find. Snake, watch out! That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. How is he talking when it's gas? Um. 
yes, that's the last time we'll be hearing from Deep Throat. That's it. So that's all you get from him. Anyway, we need the remote control missile, the Nikita missile, which is on the uh, uh, the basement first floor. So let's go and nab that. Another thing I used to think about when playing this game was uh, all the nuclear warheads and stuff are right above us. You know, all those dangerous warheads, and people are just, you know, there's you know, there's sort of like an office down here. <laughs> There's always someone having a um, having a urination here. Just imagine that you're just having a jimmy, and and then someone just breaks <laughs> breaks your neck. Uh, absolutely brutal. Yeah, notice how the mirrors are broken. That becomes relevant later. Anyway, we're going in here now. We need to get the uh, uh, the missiles. To get rid of him. Something over there. Some more stun grenades. There's only one use in the game for stun grenades, really. They sort of... In my opinion, when you use them to run away from enemies, they just make the situation worse because they just make another alert. Anyway, was that the uh, Nikita? Yeah, oh yeah, I just picked it up. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, that was the Nikita missile in there. Um, we can't get in here yet. Um, I think there's more PSG-1 bullets or something. Um, probably something under here. Yeah, some more Famas bullets. Socom bullets. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. That's a that's a level six door. Uh, that's a level four door. The level six door is down here. I think that's for the um, the cold medicine if we need that. No, it's level five door. This one, level six one. Yeah, there it is. That has the cold medicine in it. There it is. Deal with that later. I think we can also yeah, you can hide un under the desks and stuff to hide from the enemy, but. Uh, Again, if they know you're there, they'll chuck grenades there or something. It's best just to kill the enemies. Um, over here is the, the fabled commander's room, even though there isn't a commander around anywhere. Although why there'd be a commander, which is a, a naval rank in, a, in an army base, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming this is an, ar uh, this is an army base. Um, I suppose it could be a naval base, I suppose. Anyway... There's the, the women's toilets, which doesn't open for us because somehow it knows we're not female. Which of course leads me to, what would they do in a sort of transsexual person situation? What would they do there? How would they, how would they sort that out? Uh, those days were more innocent, weren't they? Anyway, um, let's go back to basement... Uh, Basement second floor. Whoops, wrong one. Let's use the Nikita missile. So yeah, I would have preferred in this game to have more Nikita missile puzzles, like in the Game Boy Color version uh, or Game Boy Color game. But there aren't. Anyway, let's use this uh, thing. If you run across here, you just get jolted back, and then you lose loads of health or something. Unlike the Game Boy Color version, you can also go into first-person view mode. I prefer not to because I just find it easier doing this. You need to get past the cameras when it's going really fa really fast. I'll have to get some more air now. Um, because otherwise the cameras will be able to shoot you. Unlike the Game Boy Color version, there is a, a, um, a, f a fuel gauge, if you notice. And in the top left, when that runs out, it explodes. That's not in the Game Boy Color version. In the Game Boy Color version of the game, you can just keep um, f flying around indefinitely, which is uh, interesting. So you have to be speeding past. When you go in the same, yeah, when you go in the same direction for a while, um, the missile will speed up, and we need that speed to get past the uh, uh, to get past the uh, the guns. 
I used to find this really easy, but obviously now I don't. Ah, that's annoying. Didn't actually get much air there, sorry. Oh, that was close. What is what all this weird music is? Like, it sounds like someone moaning, like on Resident Evil or something. There we go. It really isn't difficult. Even with my rustiness, I still did it third go or whatever. And that's it. For some reason, the electric box is explosive. Um, you know, they put some dynamite in it to make sure it explodes properly when it's hit. And that's that. Um, right, now we can go in here properly and explore properly. Okay, there's a uh, ration in there. Do I need a ration? No. Again, you can sort of look around if you want, but there's nothing much going on. Annoyingly, you do need to keep getting the card out to go open the doors. Can't get in there yet. Hammer in there. There's something that we need, so I have to use a chaff grenade. Thank you. Hurry up, blimey. Yeah, that's the gas mask, so we need the gas mask to explore this place in, in greater detail. I'll just finish off exploring this area and then I'll end the video. Let's put the gas mask on. Well, after we've got some air. Okay, gas mask. Reduces speed of O2 gauge decrease. Reduces speed of O2 gauge decrease in poison gas environment. You know, but this runs out. So, again, I'm just confused with this because... Okay, he's put a gas mask on, so he's breathing through... He's breathing through uh, the gas mask... So why then is his O2 still going down? I mean, is the gas mask not effective? So that's why it's still going down. If it's not effective, so he's still breathing in a little bit of poison gas, so it's still harmful. <coughs> so it doesn't make any sense. You know, so it's still like so it's like the gas mask just holds a bit of oxygen so he can hold his breath for longer, which means it's not really a gas mask, it's just like an oxygen tank. So it doesn't make any sense. It always confused me and and again like I said earlier, if the other soldiers are wearing the same gas mask, how come their ones never run out? I mean, I know why they have to do it, because it's like a video game. But uh, it's still oh, it's still confusing. Yeah, here, we need to use a chaff grenade, and then we have to keep getting the, uh, uh, the ID card out to change between the ID card and the mask. Why you can't just hold the, the gas, uh, hold the card while... You know, you uh, hold the... The ID card while wearing the mask is beyond me, but apparently he can't. Okay, some more Nikita ammo. Just realised I need the gas mask on again. Okay. More chaff grenades there. Speaking of chaff, let's throw one. About to run out of air. I think you can hide under the desks here for some reason if you want to. You can to avoid the uh, to avoid the cameras. But uh, it's not really much point. Anyway, that's all this place explored. So yeah, I just don't get the gas mask at all. It makes no sense. I mean, I know why they have to do it to make a game out of it. Otherwise, you could just go through the gas indefinitely. Um, but, you know, it, does, it still doesn't make any sense in the real world. You know, here's the airlock. And this is where the game gets a little bit too unbelievable, if you ask me. I mean, I mean, before, it was still sort of believable, like a military operation. Now it just gets ridiculous. Um, the, uh, the plot sort of gets a bit, too, um, a bit too silly for me.
cut by some type of blade. As opposed to being cut by a non-blade. Anyway, like before, if you kneel near the dead bodies, it will sort of focus on them. I'm sure he's seen stealth camouflage before. You know, being a next generation soldier. Or whatever, special forces, whatever it is. No, I won't do it for that one. Or that one. But will for that one. Okay, and this is where we uh, end the video. So we all, uh, we all know what's going to happen, so I'll end the video now. Uh, we won't need any guns. Uh, chaff grenades can be used, though, I think. Okay, we've got maximum health and maximum rations, plus the, the almost useless gas masks that save the game. Just call Master first for a laugh. People who have been through wars. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, he doesn't really say anything interesting, Master. He really doesn't. What about Merle? Hurry, Doctor Emmerich is in danger. Imagine taking a balaclava off for that. I mean, there's not much point. Anyway, let's save the game. Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent. What our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get too greedy, or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. No, greed is good in this game. Well, all that you can get. Anyway, that's that. Um, in the next video, we'll be fighting the ninja. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.